落ちた強豪を飛べないカラス<笑> What's up, YouTube? It's Tyler Blackwing here, and today I want to show you how you can play through the most popular hand traps in this format with Blackwings.、Uh, hand traps such as the Bestials, Nibiru, and Dimensional Shifter. So let's jump straight into it. In the first replay, we're gonna have only one、uh, Bestial card, our opponent has only one Bestial card. And basically, essentially, what you need is Simoon plus any Blackwing or Sudri plus Shamal or Vada or Whirlwind, or there's a lot of two card combos you can start the combo with. But yeah, so essentially, this is what the combo looks like. So here we、uh, go for Vada, go for Blackwing Dragon, and activate Shamal, getting h a r m a d a n to our hand, and、uh, activating Black Feather Whirlwind, taking or trying to spare her summon back to Vada. And here our opponent uses Magnemut, and This is what will happen. Our Vada gets banished, obviously. h a r m a d a n still gets to our hand. And here we really want to get steam to the graveyard. So we obviously want to summon Boreas and get the steam that way to the graveyard. And then we can kind of continue as normally. So, as you can see, one bestial card is not really that much, or almost. It's almost nothing against this deck. And I want to show you also what happens if our opponent has two of them, and so on. So, yep. As you can see, this is Kaliuga combo. We already have Arsenal Falco with the rank up set. We have Blackwind Full Armor Master, and we have the Blackwind Astral Dragon as well. Alright, so let's go to this next combo.、Uh, we have two Bistials into Kali. So Kali Yuga. And with this hand,、uh, if our opponent has two Bistials, you need to open up with、uh, like Simoon plus any Black Wings, you know, Simoon plus Cost basically, and then Shamal or Black Feather Whirlwind. That's how you can play even your, if your opponent o p e n up with two. So. Here we go again, and this is the important stuff. So basically, we have access to two black feather whirlwinds. That's the kind of point here. Here,、uh, we're trying to get h a r m a d a n to our hand and Vada special summoned. And then the one black feather whirlwind、uh, tries to special summon black back the Shamal that was banished as a cost. So now both Vada and h a r m a d a n Are banished, and we only get to special summon the Shamal back. And here again, we need to access the Boreas for Steam. Getting the rank up card, getting Steam back. Right here, here we could pop both of them, but if we use Druid Swarm on you know, either of our level 7s, we can go for the Kali Yuga, so that's why we don't want to pop it. And it's almost essentially the same combo as if our opponent had,、uh, or the same end field if our opponent had only one, one Beast card in his hand. So it's Kali Yuga and Blackwing Full Armor Master, and so on. Okay, and This is again with two bestials, but what if you don't have access to the second Black Feather Whirlwind? What happens then?、Uh, this is actually quite interesting because then you cannot go for the Kaliuga combo, but you can kind of branch off into an only synchro field, which is quite nice. So I'm gonna show you that next. So here we go.、Uh, as you can see,、uh, we only have one Black Feather Whirlwind here.、Uh, we're using again Vada and Harmad and trying to get them. Back to our hands and so on, and both are getting removed. And now we cannot special summon back the Shamal. So, in this combo, we are actually using Sudri's effect now to get the level 2 tuner. Going to Boras, Boras sending Vada. It's just important he gets to level 2. Then we're making Black Winch Assault Dragon. We're making full armor master and a second Blackwing Ashal Dragon. So, 
I think this is a pretty good hand or field, field because our opponent has only 6600 and you're gonna burn them a lot and you have full armor master and this is like with one card. Obviously if you have uh, extenders in your hand you could probably most likely go for the Kaliuga combo uh, still. So yeah. Uh, then let's go for the dimensional shifter replay. So uh, if our opponent has dimensional shifter and let's say he has shifter and decides to play it on your draw face or whatever. Uh, or maybe he changed it to Simoon. Uh, this is a way how you can still end up on Kaliuga with everything getting banished. And this is also a way how you could also implement Dimensional Shifter in your own deck and still, still be able to make Kaliuga. So here uh, I just special summoned Raider Swing from the deck because I wanted it out of the deck, I didn't really need it. And made Raikiri. And here we have Darkness Metal, the Dark, the Dragon of Dark Steel. And essentially, this card can once per turn special summon a banished card. So it special summon back uh, Arsenal Falcon. Our opponent's turn, we can uh, rank up into King Kaliuga. And after that, when it's our turn again, we can use the uh, Dragon of Dark Steel's uh, effect and special summon back something from the banished zone again, which is really nice. Uh, it goes into the defense and it's. Uh, Effect is negated, but we can still do nice stuff with it. Alright, and then one of m maybe the most requested things is that if if our opponent opens up with Nibiru, what can the deck do? And I can tell you, uh, Nibiru is it's like it's nothing for this deck anymore, essentially. So here's a here's a fun uh, mirror I played a couple of weeks ago. And as you can see, my opponent has Dark Ruler no more, Nibiru. I think this was a game three, and he has like he has like a good hand for going second, right? So here I only opened with one Black Feather Whirlwind, which is kind of you know a, sh a shame, like bad thing. Usually you want to have uh, more of them. Okay, so getting access to the rank up card uh, here, my idea was to kind of go for Borreload Savage Dragon here. Uh, that's why I'm playing Harmadan's effect here. To try to go for level 5 and then, you know, level 8 and just equip Wystrix. But my opponent uses uh, Nibiru here. So, okay, I let it go. So basically, I could have had one Borreload Savage Dragon here that would play effect. But otherwise, the exact same game state. Activate Steam, Activate Zephyros. Getting Boreas, Raikiri, destroying the Nibiru, Arsenal Falcon. Then getting the Boreload Savage Dragon here. Getting three negates. And getting Hog the Joe. So we have Kaliuga combo here again, and we have a lot of other stuff as well, which is nice. Uh, for the last replay, this is just a nice replay against a Sprite. We were actually going second here. I think this is also like a game three or something like that. So our opponent's gonna go going ahead and uh, makes his combos, and he has a kind of kind of nice hand. So he has Gamma, uh, Nibiru, and Impermanence. But I'm gonna play through everything and peace field with the hand you see on my field. And obviously, I'm also getting Nibiru in this this replay as well. So this is our opponent's uh, field. He decides to activate his stone and negate my small world, so I don't have access to Simoon. So here again I'm having double Black Feather Whirlwind, which is really nice. Activating Gale here. Uh, I think he should not have Impermed here, but it is what it is. Activating White Strix, he could have negated White Strix here. With the Imper maybe instead, but uh, the most important thing is that my Vata resolved. So here he goes and Nibirus me. Still getting my Vata back and getting my Harmada into my hand. Taking some damage. Go 
Going for a right here. Uh, this was kind of stupid because right here, uh, as you can see, I have I have over 8,000 damage. So I could just have popped, you know, these and just attacked pretty much. But I went for Burload Savage Dragon and used the effect hint. He had a Gamma. So, yeah. Little miss may play. But, uh, yeah. It's still pretty nice. We have Chinook and we have a guy who burns and he's just gonna take a lot of damage. Alright, and there's the victory. So, alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, like uh, more hand traps or whatever, I think those were the main things that I've been getting requests of, like Bestials, Nibiru, and maybe not the Dimensional Shifter, but I just want to show you that it's completely possible, because Dimensional Shifter is a card that will be heavily played, and if you don't play Gamma in your main deck, you know, it can be really hard to kind of prevent it from going off. So that's kind of an idea how you can still do the combo without, without uh, having to rely on Gamma or called by the grave too much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you liked it please uh, thumbs up the video, share it to your Blackwing friends and show them how you can play, still play true hand traps. Uh, thank you for watching and I'm out. <laughs>